Hello and welcome back to another episode in Hardcore Minecraft. In today's episode we have three objectives. We have to create a duck because we never actually did that even though that was my plan for this area. So we have to get that done. And we have to get a dog. I am tired of all of these cats. Okay, I want a dog. So we're going to be getting that and hopefully while we're out on our adventure we will be able to find some bees for our little bee sanctuary. And then for the last bit we will be capturing the water. These are the last few things that I want to get done before we start doing all of those really really dangerous tasks that comes with hardcore Minecraft. So. Let's jump right into it and get some stone so we can make an actual duck. So it seems we have plenty of stone to go around so that is awesome and not a problem at all. However, you may notice something that I only just noticed. We have no food. Where did all of my food go? I don't know, but that's a problem we'll have to fix. But firstly, let's find out whether or not we're going to be having a house chicken. We are apparently having a tree. Oh my god. Oh, that was a mistake. Well, say hello to Rip Rap and Whoop. <coughs> It's now a good time to mention that I'm actually not really a fan of birds. What did I do to myself? Oh god. <laughs> CD, I, I, I got you some friends. Yeah, he's not impressed either. How am I gonna get out of my door with Rip Rap and Whoop standing right there as guardians? So my thought is that we are going to be building the docks around here. So... We are gonna have to need to do a little bit of a wall around the edge of this and then have actual dogs go out here and out here. I know that this one might be a little bit close to here so we might just make it out here just because it would make more sense I think. Um, and then one out here and maybe one out there. And then we'll have the wall actually wrap around here and come and join up with that. And the one from over here will kind of just be hidden and stop behind this house. But for the time being we have plenty of stone but not enough wood. So I'm gonna head over and cut down some wood. So I've got the wood, I've got the stone, I have a chest to store it all and a furnace to smelt some more stone. So I think it's just time to go and set down a little working station for ourselves so that we can smelt some more stone and start building. So before heading out on an adventure I want to show you guys the duck. So this is it. <laughs> we have I believe it's four places that you can duck your boat and this is one of them. And the second duck, they're quite identical. And the third one, and then we have the fourth, which is kind of a long one, so that should be interesting. Maybe we could have a bigger ship here, and yeah, that one might be a difficult, but like we needed another support pillar. So I, I actually like it. I think it turned out great. I didn't know what to put here though, so we may just put our nether portal there when we get to it. Um, but so far so good and now it's time to go get ourselves a dog. Only problem, we only have two bones. So before we actually head off, I think it would be a good choice to stop on by our own house and grab some arrows and another bow we now have all the bows and all the arrows so we are ready to shield ship let's head out and see if we can find a doggo so we have a small problem i forgot a bit and it's turning dark and i did not plan on shooting skeletons just right here 
Oh, there's a fox. That's cute. Oh no. This could turn bad real quick. I might just grab my boat and observe from a distance. I think that might just be the smartest choice. Did a quick look and it doesn't seem like there's any doggos around. It looks as though I've already been here once before. Let's head up here and hope we don't get shot to hell. Would you stand still and could you like not shoot me? Creeper decides to take a walk out. No thank you, mister. I think not today. It would be really appreciated if you would stand still. Like, could you not move? There we go. Oh, those fox. <gasps> fox. Oh, there's a baby fox. Oh, that's cute. Oh, oh, there's a village. So we know I've been in this area before, but I do not remember a village. So maybe we are lucky and I haven't actually seen this one. Excuse you. Well, that, that wasn't great mate. Oh, bread. I do like bread. And I do like a bit. Thank you. Was that all? Two villager houses. Oh, there's more. Is that? Oh, that's a doggo. First try. It was meant to be. Oh gosh. I wish I could bring all. I wish I could bring you two too, but I only have room for one. I'm sorry. Oh, they have a large pack, so that's good. That's good. That's good. That makes me feel less bad. Eggs and I don't need that. We don't need that puppy. Do you know if they have any more houses? No, I think we have everything we need now that I found you. So it what what are you? Oh there you went. So come along. Maybe we should see if we can find your pink flower. When we get home, I will make you a name tag and you will be pretty as a button. And we will get you the right colored color and you will feel right at home. I know your favorite biome is spruce biomes. It's mine too. But uh, we can't always live in spruce biomes. And this time you're actually going to be an island dog. We are about to have boats and everything. So it's going to be proper cool. And we'll see if we can make you. Where did you go? There you went. We'll see if we can't make you your own little dog or house. And maybe a little later get you get you your your very own puppy friends. But but I can only chance for one at a time. And I think there's somebody up there. There is. And I'm actually hitting him. I hit him. I got him. Uh -huh. Child! No, 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 no. Why is there so many? One! Look what the actual hell. Oh. Holy cannoli, that came out of the blue. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. I don't want to be here no more. Come on, get a little speed in your paws. Did you get hit? I don't think you got hit. We are now headed home and we'll see you there. And we'll have to figure out the pink flower at home. Because uh, that, 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 that's enough of that for one time. And let's see if we can find our way home. We'll get home and we'll have no more disconcerting encounters with burning dead people yes no no more of that just just you and i 
Sailing on home. Home sweet home. Puppy love, that's your new home. Pretty, I think it's pretty. So I have your die and I got your name tag. Let's go name it first. <gasps> I'm so excited to finally have a doggo here to accompany me. Here we go. And her name is, of course, Pixel. Let's go get Pixel out of the boat. There we go. And you shall wear a pink color. And your name shall be Pixel. Oh, you're just cute. You are so adorable. I will, if, 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 if editor Tris can figure out how to do it, I will put a picture on the screen as to exactly why the doggo has a pink, pink color and, and not any other color. <laughs> you see, my dog actually only wears one of two color band-aids. Uh, I don't think band-aids is the right name for it. No, those squares, patches, patches of fabric that you can tie around the doggo's neck. And that also came out wrong. But uh, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> she has one for Christmas and one for her birthday. And the one for her birthday, which it has just been, she's just turned two last week, is pink. And it says, it's my birthday. So we are gonna leave her down here as our dog. Our dog. God. I think you would do really well at that because Pixel is a very friendly dog and there's gonna be plenty of people coming in and out here so you'll have lots to do and lots to pet you. Lots of willing victims will be coming this way. I think it's time to add some stuff to the waters. So let's that let's get that done, and I'll see you guys in what's gonna be a bit for you, but a long time for me, boy. No, I don't think you are allowed to step foot on this island, Mister. And you guys better be careful, cause I don't mind killing you too. So I'd originally made some different boats, and we're actually about ready to just show you everybody what I had done but then I changed my mind and I didn't like them anyway <laughs> to put it into perspective I think the last time I was in this world was like two two weeks ago before all of my exam stress hit and I couldn't play Minecraft because I well I, I don't want to fail my exams and then I joined the world and I was not happy and then I decided to go and design some new boats, which, which I've done. And I have three of them in the world right now and I think that's that's gonna do it for this episode. Those, those three boats. <laughs> but don't worry, I haven't forgotten I haven't shown you. We're gonna show them right now. Let's see, they're kind of houseboaty, which I think is okay. But if we go down here, you can see the first one. It's with dark oak and I think I can make it, yeah. I think it's actually quite nice because when we do have silk touch and ores, we can fill it up. So that would look great, I think. I will say all the boats are the same because I'm not that great at building boats and this was a challenge in and of itself. But this one does have a bed and some glowstone. That's not glowstone, those are what? Glow berries, right? Yeah, glow berries. <clears throat> um, which I like. I do want to get some vines hanging down, perhaps. I am not certain. Just to give it an extra something. But this one does have some storage. So that you can see that it actually does hold cargo. Which they are supposed to. They are supposed to hold cargo. My thought was that this is kind of where they sleep, the tradesmen, right? That little bedroom out in the open, because it's, it's the one that has the, the shutters, so you can shut it everybody out. Shut the outside world out of your bedroom, right? And then this is going to be the area for cargo, so this one is holding barrels that we can fill up with stuff. 
and the last one over here is a birch one and in this one i actually have the cargo inside instead of outside um yeah that one's my favorite <laughs> i'd love to know which boat is your favorite the dark oak one the birch or the jungle wood uh, i won't lie they were all supposed to be jungle wood but I kind of ran out of jungle root and we also have a different problem. We don't have any more jungle saplings so at some point we're gonna have to go in, in search of more. I also wanted to get like some coal for stuff here but we can't finish that before we have gone to the nether and I, I feel like when it comes to me and the nether I would be extremely surprised if I've survived that yeah um, <laughs> I have a very strong suspicion that our series will end next episode because I don't think I have yet to go into the nether and not die I'm sorry about that I really do love our world though and I do hope that I do manage to keep myself alive <laughs> anything else would be incredibly sad but i do love our dark area that we finished up in this episode and my little house boats i am really happy that i did decide to change them so anyway guys as the sun well the sun has already set and the moon is rising that is everything i had for this episode I really hope you enjoyed it and want to stick around. Currently as I'm recording this video I am 4 subscribers away from hitting my goal of the 100. So I do hope that you want to stick around for that. <laughs> so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stick around for some more fun times. Goodbye everybody and have a great day.